Hello lovely people, welcome to the Geek Covered, I'm Penge, and welcome back to Millennia, where we are trying our very, very hardest to catch up with Greece in terms of research. They do keep moving into the New Ages first to Greece, because they're great big fancy pants show-offs, and because of that, we're always left playing catch-up a little bit, so we are trying as best we can to get lots of research things on the go. We have books now in Northampton and Liverpool, that's quite good. We have libraries now to provide some more knowledge. We also do pick up a little bit of knowledge from our tea rooms, which I do quite like because, you know, as everybody knows, tea does provide enlightenment, so that's quite good. So if we can just keep on going like that, just keep on doing little things that give us tiny bits of knowledge, I think maybe we could start trying to catch up a little tiny bit. I don't think we'll ever catch them up properly, but maybe if we can just stop lagging behind quite so far, that will be quite handy. So that's going to be the plan today. Just try as best we can to get lots of knowledgey things on the go and get Cabordia into the Age of Revolution. I mean, it says up here, Age of Revolution. That means that Greece dragged the world into the Age of Revolution. So Greece are there and maybe some of the nations are as well. I do not know. We are not quite there, though. The nation of Cabordia is still in the Age of Enlightenment. So we've got society done. That's quite good. We're working on reason. So that's going to take another eight turns. And then after that, we need to get another two of these done because now we need to get four technologies unlocked to move into the next age, not three like it used to be back in the other ages. Now we need four. So we've got to get two more after these two are done. So I'm not quite sure what we'll go for, but we'll deal with that when we come to it. So that's going to be the plan. Just try as best we can to get researchy stuff done and not be so far behind Greece. Now, to begin today, we're going to do something right now because otherwise I will forget. I forgot to do this last time. So let's just do it right now. We're going to get our fourth daimyo on board because when we do that, we can wrap things up with our shogunate national spirit stuff down here. So let's get one of these in. So there we go. Spawn a daimyo, 42 diplomacy points. I think we looked at this in the previous video, but I don't think we had enough diplomacy points. And then I just completely forgot. So let's get another one of these. Where can we put you? Let's pop you, and they've got the Shogun. They've got the Shogun already. How about pop them into Malmo? Let's get them into Malmo, shall we? So there we go, you go over there. Right, so now we have four of those, which means we can get our legacy thing here for our shogunate tree. So uh, yes, what do we get? So we've got four daimyos, that's quite good. We get one social fabric tolerance point and our homeland generates an additional diplomacy XP, which is quite good. So okay, we'll take that for all of one diplomacy point. And what was that? What was tolerance? Uh, nope, that's not the right button. What was tolerance? Tolerance was, oh, a little bit of money. A tiny bit of money coming in per turn. We do make quite a lot of money. I'm not entirely sure if that's a lot compared to other nations, but 121 money per turn is not too bad at all. So yeah, I'm quite happy with that. What else can we do with all of our points? We have got quite a lot of other points. Um, oh, what does Force March do? Fully restore movement points to an army at the cost of 10% of the unit's health. Oh, crikey, no, that's quite bad. Reinforcements. Uh, oh, okay. Reinforcements can just, sort of, yeah, bolster an army's health. That's quite good. And volunteers we've seen. Okay, not so bothered about those right now. However, do want to use some of our giant pile of warfare XP to maybe upgrade a few units. Because I think, have we got any of the classic you know, city guard? Yes, we have. Okay, so upgrade you guys to the guard reserves because they're better. And I think, are they all upgraded? Right, they're all upgraded. Um, they are also, ooh, hang on. We can upgrade the spearmen to musketmen. Oh yes, absolutely do that. Let's get some slightly better fighty people on board, shall we? Let's go and check this out actually, right? There are three samurai, that's okay. Down here, they're all upgraded. That's pretty good. They're all upgraded as well. Can we not upgrade our Damascus sword people yet? Um, they're all done as well. I think they're all done. Anything down here? Kazan. They do need some more fighty people down here, do Kazan. But okay, I think that's it for our unit upgrades. Hang on, what about down here? Oh no, I tell a lie. Uh, we can upgrade you to, yes, a musket man. Yeah, do that, please. Wonderful. Okay, so I feel like we're a little bit sort of uh, a little bit more prepared for a fight now, which is quite good. Uh, and then what can we do with diplomacy? Could we get a merchant? Could we get a merchant? Oh, yeah, we might want to save it to get an envoy because we're still waiting to hear back from Brazil, actually. Hang on. Brazil, did you accept our gift? 
I'm not entirely sure if you accepted our gift or not. I don't quite know. I don't know what happened there. Um, envoy established. Embassy not established. Okay, now we can do this. Open an embassy. So pay 100 wealth. I think we can just about afford that. That'll be fine. And what else was it? Pay 30 diplomacy XP. Ah, okay, right. That's probably quite good that we kept it then. And then it means that we can do other things over here, I think. So open an embassy with our good buddies Brazil. Let's see what they think about that. We shall see if they're happy with that. Right, so we'll leave those diplomacy points. And then arts XP. What can we do with this? I don't think we can make Malmo any more prosperous. They do need some towns. I think we might build some towns for Malmo. But I don't think we can promote cultural exports in it. Oh, can we? Hang on, they're on 300. Uh, no, no. Uh, it's weird that it let us spend the points, but it didn't work. But okay, so that is not going to get any more prosperous right now. That's okay. Is everybody following our religion? I think they are. Um, okay, why don't we spawn an artist down in Kazan? There we go, the great artist of Kazan. And you can do this thing. Um, no, here, you can create a lovely artwork good to make the people of Kazan a bit jollier because they've got some lovely art to go and look at, which is quite nice. Right, okay, happy with all that. Oh, we've got to go and fortify everybody now, have we? Yeah, just go, sit around and wait for a bit, please. It's all fine, just hang around for a bit, it's all good. Right, there we go. So move on to our next turn. I think, yeah, when we get our next culture power, which won't be that long, because we do sort of, uh, we clock those up quite quickly. Oh, oh, Brazil. Oh, I thought we were friends. Your request is refused. We suspect you may have an ulterior motive. Just to be better friends, really? But okay, fine. They are careful. I suppose that does sort of fit their profile if they're careful. Um, okay, fine. Be like that. Oh, hang on. Does that cost warfare XP? Okay, we're going to upgrade our boat here to a man of war. Let's do that. Oh, yes. It's even more a proper sailing ship now. It's got loads of sails. Many, many sails. And I imagine cannons and everything else. Right, that's quite exciting. Uh, can we upgrade that? Um, oh, that was exploration XP. Oh, I didn't see that. Oh, okay. Have we just burned through a big pile of exploration XP? Right. Okay, never mind. Never mind. Uh, you can have a move around then. What direction were you going in? You're sort of coming down here. Head down here. Please have a little look around. There's Pompeii. And you can sort of head off over here then. You can go in that direction and we'll see what you find. Other than barbarians in boats. <laughs> there are so many barbarians in boats around here. And I think you were just sort of pootling around the bottom of the world. But you've done that now. You've done the whole tour of the bottom of the world. Um, apart from here... Why did you not do this bit? Because now that bit's not uncovered and it looks a bit untidy, but okay. Um, yeah, so if we could also get better visibility of the planet, that would also be quite useful. But here we go. I want to get to our culture power thing. So two turns. Um, right, yeah, you just do some more boating in that direction. Oh, a little island. A little island that is not completely covered with barbarians. That's quite refreshing. That doesn't happen all the time. Uh, you can come round this way. Anytime you like. There we go. Yep, sort of come into here, please. Yes, yes, there's people over there. Yep, every time you seem surprised when you find things. And then you, you are, you're still a Karak. Okay, you can head over in that direction. Oh, there's another island. It's going to be full of barbarians. <laughs> there we go. Ah, oh, dear, there are so many barbarian islands. There are so many of them around. It's very silly. Um, Did our man -o war have a go then? Did our Man of War actually have a turn? I don't recall. Oh, there they are. They're just here. Oh, no, that's fine then. Yep, you guys just keep on wandering about. I kind of just want to get to our next culture thing, really. I want to get that done. Um, you go and uncover what's there. And then head in that direction. Wonderful. You guys just sort of head in that direction. Maybe come out that way to you know fill in the gap over there. Right, here we go. So culture power coming up. Let's get this sorted, shall we? Let's get a nice town assigned to Mal... Oh, somebody said I'm saying Malmo wrong. Is it Malma? Is it Malma? I don't think you pronounce it Malmo. I think it's Malma. But uh, okay, so let's go to that place there that I can't see. Yeah, it's got little kind of circly bits above the O, so it's probably not Malmo. Is it Malma? I'm, I'm not entirely sure. That place there. Um, so yes, what if we 
create them a town because at the minute they can't grow any more than five because they don't have a town. So they're kind of a region level one or whatever. So I think if we give them a town just there, that means they can start growing again. Now, maybe that means we can increase their prosperity. I have no idea, but we'll put a town in. Arlington has gone in. So now Malmo can start. There's quite a lot of barbarians everywhere all of a sudden. <laughs> Why are there loads of barbarians everywhere? Okay. Right. This is unexpected. I think we can deal with it. I just don't know where they've come from. I mean, we are in the age of revolution. I mean, we're not ourselves, but... Um, right. Oh, Kazan. Kazan, Kazan, Kazan. This could be a bit of a problem, couldn't it? Okay. Warfare. Volunteers. Get some people down here, please. And... Oh. Do we summon musket men now? Oh, okay. That's actually quite good. That's actually quite good. Okay, right. Happy about that. Four turns until we can do that again. But that's quite useful, isn't it? Nothing here is going to help. Ooh. Although, hang on. 60 of our diplomacy points. We can bribe one of these guys into oblivion. And I think maybe down here is our best shot. Let's bribe these guys with their 154 strength. Let's just get rid of them. So, boop, away they go. They've been bribed into oblivion, which is wonderful. Um, So, yeah, do we know who these guys are? Who who are you lot? <laughs> why, are there, why can't I click on them? I can't seem to click on them to find anything out about them. They're just, they're just barbaric. Rebels. Oh, okay. So, rebels have just appeared. Is this another thing that we're going to have to deal with now? Is this going to keep happening? Just rebels and rebels and rebels again. Um, okay, right. Let's do the boats first. Let's get all boaty. Right, so come over here. And yeah, just keep going in that direction. There's a barbarian boat. That's fine. Okay. Um, and then... Uh, hang on. Can we, do, can we do the other boats? I just want to get them kind of out of the way. Uh, we'll nip into there. Look, have a look around Rome. That's lovely. Uh, you guys can just sort of head up there and fill in the blanks on the map. That's very good. Head over in that direction. Yep. Keep keep going. Come on. Keep going. And then next. Right. Okay. So it's these guys here. We have an idle region. So let's go and do that. Capital attack available. What does that mean? What's that? What's a capital attack? It says capital attack available. I don't know what that is. What's a capital attack? <laughs> Eject artist. Uh, is the artist still there? The artist should be gone. Um, I don't know what the capital attack is. I can't seem to see. Oh, capital attack. It says there. Um, enemy adjacent to the capital. Oh, okay. Right. Yes, that's not entirely correct anymore because we've bribed them away. But okay, I see. So if they're next to us, we can do a special attack, can we? Is that what we can do? Oh, okay. A capital attack. Oh, this is quite fun. Okay, um, well, let's pick on these guys. Because they've got 77 strength. So they can clear off. Okay, we just lob some stuff at them. Oh, okay, right, that's that's quite fun. Uh, right, let's attack over here, look. Let's let's just rid the, rid the world of you revolutionary types. Here we go. Battle of Northampton. Shoot at his shoot. They're sort of stabbing us or whatever they're doing. But yeah, I think we've got this one. Oh, the Explorer's joining in. <laughs> I forgot the Explorer was there. Come on, musket man. Just kill it, kill. Explorer choppity chops. Let's just go through to the end. Right, okay. They have been dealt with, which is brilliant. Um, so next, got these. They're just going to fortify. They're just going to sit in there. Right, Liverpool needs to start doing some stuff. What can we do with Liverpool? Um, we could potentially get some troops in a recon balloon engineer a floating reconnaissance aircraft they sound quite fun i imagine they just let us see quite a long way um how about though we get some why can't we train muskets requires a barracks oh no we haven't got the technology for a barracks we haven't unlocked that yet okay <laughs> right okay we can't get all these fancy things requires a barracks Requires a barracks unlocked by gunpowder. Okay, fine. Okay, we won't have all your fancy things then. Um, yeah, barricades unlocked by isolation. Turrets are upgraded by isolation. Okay, how about then, if we're looking for knowledge, maybe we upgrade to a public library. That might be quite good. 
We are lacking in terms of faith in Liverpool and in terms of sanitation. And the shopping centre is not good for that. The Grand Theatre is Art XP. Um, that does provide a bit of education, but knowledge is important. We're trying to get knowledge. So let's get a public library, please. We'll get that set up. Okay, and now we need to go and do quite a lot of fighting. I notice there are some revolutionaries here in Japan's territory. Go that way and attack them, please. Go that way and have a fight in that direction. That would be quite handy. Um, okay, you guys maybe deal with these tough ones. 154. So let's see if we can fight this lot. Okay, speed through to the end. And bleh. Some of them have fallen over. Okay, that's quite good. And then over here, 177. Um, there are some over there, but we'll fight you guys in the woods. So here we go. Defense adjustment plus 20%. Botherations. Okay. Are they all dead? No. Okay. Being in the woods is quite handy for defense then. Okie doke. Uh, we've got you guys. Three lots of samurai. I kind of feel a bit concerned about these over here. So let's bring you lot in over here, look. And then you can attack them? No. Because you're out of movement. Okay, I didn't do that very well, did I? <laughs> botherations and you guys can just sort of hang around in your in your cities because you get i imagine extra kind of defense stuff for that um oh and a capital attack hang on a minute who's doing that it's liverpool um yeah attack them might as well cause them some damage wonderful i think that's all we can do i think that's all we can do we might need to train up some more troops we might need some more fighty people on the go but okay let's see how this goes. What are the revolutionaries going to do? Please stop revolutionizing. Please desist. It's causing us many problems. Are they doing anything? If they've appeared all around the world, then yes, there's probably going to be quite a lot of issues. Oh no, did we see that little outpost thing? <laughs> Portland is taking a kicking. Northampton is taking a kicking. Plano, Plano, who pronounced it, is taking a kicking. Malmo is taking some damage. Oh crikey, there are so many of them. Um, Okay, uh, we have our man of war. Let's have a fight with a, a chap in a canoe. <laughs> this is the most uh, sort of one-sided fight I might have ever seen. Oh, look. Well done. Good, good job, boat people. Well done. Very, very impressive. Um, okay, what can we do now then? So 77 strength is over there. So you guys go in and deal with them. You have a fight with them now, please. Uh, yep, speed on to the end. One of them is left, but sometimes they do rout, don't they? No, they're um they're still there, which is a little bit of an annoyance. Um, Springfield, I think, survived. How about we bring you lot? Although you're not that good at actual attack, are you? We've you've got the um you've got the shogun with you, and they do help you out quite a bit, the shogun. But I think I think you'll be okay. Let's bring you guys up here. And you can fight them. There we go. So, Battle of Portland. Okay, how are we doing? Right, they're all dead. Marvellous. So, the threat to the north is just a few people over there. I think they will die next time. So, that should be okay. Um, this lot over here will look very, very weak. Down here, they took out our outpost again. A few people have said that we should change that outpost into something for Kazan, like a town or something, which is probably a good idea. We might do that in a bit to stop stuff like this happening. Uh, Malmo has defeated whatever it whatever was next to it, which is quite good. Right, you guys. Um, let's get you lot to attack them, because you can, and I imagine you will win. It's a <laughs> not exactly a fair fight. Uh, and you can come down here. And you can fight them. Again, not exactly a fair battle. And uh, they just fell down in sympathy. <laughs> do you know what? I don't want to do this. Oh, I've fallen over. Um, maybe. Oh, no, again, but you guys aren't good at attacking. You're not good at attacking. But then if we don't go on the attack, this lot can just ravage our land. They can go and destroy things and set fire to stuff, which is a bit of a nuisance. Oh, one thing we are going to do. We are going to get some more fishing fleets next to Springfield because that generates more money for us, which is wonderful. And we'll do it again just there because uh, Springfield is a little kind of fishing town. So that's pretty good. Um, 
Somebody did say something in the comments about upgrading something. Uh, was it? Oh yeah, it was Boston. I think it might have been Boston. Let's get some fishing fleets around Boston as well. Let's put one. Uh, and we put one there. That's going to bring us some shells, which is also another little bit of money, which is brilliant. Okay. Uh, right. Next, it's saying, yeah, over here. They're not going to do anything. You guys can just sort of fortify for a bit. Uh, we've got 154, 77, 77, 77, 77. Oh, crikey. Lots of 77s going on. But over here, the threat is pretty much gone. Okay. I'm quite happy with that. I think this has shown us that maybe we do need to train up at least one more decent army. So possibly we'll try and get that done next time. Maybe that's what we'll do. Um, oh, Exploration XP to upgrade it. But I do want to get some more Scholar stuff going on. Um, okay, right. Let's do some more boaty stuff. Just have a sail around. Uh, and then, yeah, we'll come back next turn when we are going to inevitably do some more fighting against those pesky revolutionaries. Okay, let's get our decent squad over here to take on those guys there. So have a fight with them, please. They might not win, but they will considerably weaken them. So let's see what they go down to. Oh, quite a lot of them have fallen over. That's quite good. Right, so they're looking very unhealthy, which is good. And then I think we can come down here and take these guys out. So let's have a fight with them. I'm surprised it's showing this because I suspect we might win. And yeah, there we go. He fell over. That's all good. Um, these guys will probably... Just go. Oh, hang on a minute. <gasps> Have they... They've set fire to the tea. Okay, nope, they must die. Sorry. We're, we're going to attack you with some guards, but you set fire to the tea. And yeah, our religion is tearsm. You've committed... Uh, that's like heresy. No, you, you must die. Sorry about this, but we're going to come and kill you to death, hopefully. Um, and yes, they are now dead, which is brilliant. So we're going to get them back into Northampton, but that worked out quite well. And down here, Kazan is sort of looking okay. How are we looking for that thing? Two more turns. So if Kazan can just sort of hold on a bit, I think we'll be okay. Um, anybody up here want to go and have a little look around? Um, maybe you guys. Could you guys come down and maybe help Kazan? Could you run down and just help Kazan? That might be quite useful. Um, okay, right. Some some boaty stuff going on. I'm not going to get involved with that over there because that might annoy the Romans. We're going to go back up that in sort of that way just to fill in this bit over here because I don't know what's in that part of the world. Uh, right back we go with some more boaty stuff. Let's get this done and then we'll see if next time we can get rid of those troublesome revolutionary types. Okay, I think the two units over here threw themselves at Kazan and they've both died. And the units in Kazan seem very healthy indeed. So that's quite good. All of our cities do have great big stone walls. So that might help a little bit against invading baddies. So that's quite good. We have got quite a bit of damage. So let's spend some of our points on repairing this. So uh, yeah, let's repair that, please. So get that all sorted out. I think that's it for Kazan. I think Kazan are now okay. I don't think we have any more revolutionaries around. I think we've dealt with them all. Which is quite good. I think they're all gone. Yeah, splendid. Um, we do need to get something back in over here. We do need to get our little outpost type thing. There was a thing which you can use. Where is it? Where is it? You can do something with outposts. Was it this? Um, spawn pioneer? No. There was something. It's in one of these. I forget which one it is. You can um, You can turn the outpost into something else. You can change it into something, but I can't quite recall exactly which thing it is. Um, use a pioneer to build outposts. Remind me, game. Uh, okay, an outpost can then yeah, become, it gets connected by roads and such like, which is good. Um, but yeah, I thought there was something which could change the outpost into something else. But maybe I've just made that up. I'm, I'm fairly certain a few people mentioned it in the comments. But whatever the case, we need a pioneer to get that outpost back. Um, unless we can't put a town there, can we? A town there would be silly. Or would it be that silly? It would have... It wouldn't have very much to work on. No, it would be a bit of a strange... A strange location. Could we get a town? Could we put an actual town there rather than a city? Put a town here? Maybe it would link to Northampton? Um, I mean, it could... It would be quite good if it linked to Kazan, to be honest. If we could have a town there... 
that would not be so bad. If we, hang on a minute, three turns until we get a culture power. So we could, in theory, buy that tile there with claim territory. So that tile becomes ours. And then we put that just there, the town, when we get our culture power, which means Kazan can have another town. Maybe that could help Kazan quite a bit now. I think maybe that's what we do and just hope the Japanese don't get in there first. Okay, right. This is good. Uh, yep, you guys can hang around in there. Right, revolutionary is dealt with. Yay for that. Um, boating. Uh, maybe bring the man of war back. Bring it back over here, look, and put it in our shores. Let's put it back over in our territory. That's quite good. Yep, continue move. Just continue move. Just keep going. <laughs> right, you guys. Hang on. They need their back in Liverpool. You can just sort of hang around in there. That's fine. You lot were going to go down to help Kazan. But I don't think you need to do that anymore. So maybe you lot can go over here. That'd be like a sort of a forward guard type thing. Um, oh, okay, that's upgrading to an explorer. Don't need to do that. You lot, get back in Northampton. You can fortify there, please. And we've got... Who's next? Uh, ah, right, the three samurai. Maybe bring them down here, look. Just in case Japan gets any ideas. And then we've got a boat. Yep, yeah, okay, bring the boat round here. That's all very good. And another boat. Okay, where can you go? <laughs> Where can you go? Do you know what? You can work your way round here. And we'll try and figure out why we didn't look at this before. So, uh, yeah, you just keep on going round there, please. That's going to be good. And then we've got... Ah, yes, our kind of decent, decent sort of fighting force. You can go back over here, look. You can go there and just wait around. And, very importantly, we're going to repair the tea. Hooray! Tea is back. Oh, dear me. That wasn't very good, was it? They defiled the tea. Um, and also we shall repair the oven because that's quite good. Is anything else on fire? That's on fire, but I don't think we have enough stuff to repair it just yet. That's okay. Uh, right. Okay. Next turn. Oh, crap. Yep. Fortify. Uh, we'll go to next turn and we'll try and repair what we can in terms of our damaged improvements. Okay. We get to pick a new technology. This is very good. So reason is now done. So we can get universities in. That's quite good. That generates knowledge. That's very helpful. The Academy of Science. That's got to be a good thing. And over here. Oh, yeah, we get a literary salons. OK, so, yeah, these sort of the fancy people being pretentious and their sort of salon type thing. They just sort of, you know, sit around eating and drinking all day and talking whiffle and trying to look important. But OK, so a literary salon is a thing that we can now also build. That's an improvement. But OK, so that's good. Um, now we need another two of these to at least think about moving into the Age of Revolution. So what do we go for? I don't think colonies are our thing. We don't do much about this. We're not settling anywhere and we're not sort of having little kind of colony type things set up. So not so bothered about that. Public sphere. What was that? Police department. That could be quite good. A bakery converts a lot of flour into a lot of bread. We do have a bit of that going on. And ah, regions can support more towns. That's quite good. Government gives us uh, wealth and education with a bank building and the national landmark is a big pile of influence. Mercantilism is an arsenal and a foundry and a merchant appears. OK, I think on standing, we do have a standing army. We have got that that we could look at, but we're not going to get that right now. Let's go for public sphere. 16 turns until that's going to be done. That's a very, very... Very long time. But there we go. Got to start somewhere. And that's where we started. OK, we have our culture power to use. So I think if we pick Create Town now and try to put a town there, it's going to say no, because the game thinks that we want to attach the town to Northampton because it's not adjacent to any of Kazan's territory. That would make a really good spot for a town. So I think if we go to here and claim that territory for ourselves, so Kazan, look... You've got a bit more land to build on, Kazan. That's quite useful. And then go to here and go to Create Town. That will now link to Kazan. So Kazan can have two towns, which means Kazan can actually grow properly, which is very good indeed. OK, Albany. Hello, Albany. That's very good. And we do have some people on there as well, which is very good. Right. That's not too bad. And we'll get some volunteers in there as well, just to boost Kazan's forces, because, you know, the musket men are pretty good. That's not too bad at all. Right. 
happy about that. So that's now sorted. And I think next turn that will probably expand to fill in all of that space. That would be quite handy. In fact, look, we could get some bone out of that with a hunting camp. That would not be too bad at all. Right, we'll try and get many things done. Um, however, some things are on fire. So let's repair that, shall we? For That's quite a lot, but we've got to get it repaired because Bristol sanitation is somewhat bad. So let's fix that. And then let's fix the kitchen as well. Sort out food and luxury. Okay. And then we've got 12 points left. I don't think... It, oh, no, that was on fire, wasn't it? Okay, so sort that out for housing for Liverpool. Um, I think... Is that everything that was on fire? Oh, no, that's a bit on fire. Okay, that's a little bit ablaze. I think, though, apart from that, is that it? Yes. Okay, right. So next turn, we should be able to repair that, hopefully. I think we should have enough points. Yeah, we'll get it sorted. Get 18 points, 18 improvement points each turn now. That's a bit bonkers, isn't it? Okay, right, that's quite good. So, uh, yeah, okay, let's just keep time ticking on. You can fortify. Um, yeah, 13 turns now until public sphere. Um, oh, Northampton can do a thing. How about we upgrade to a university? Get provide specialists and also knowledge, which is quite good, and education as well. Yes, we shall have one of those, please. And then after you've done that, maybe... Queue up a lifting tower. So turn your crane into a lifting tower for even more improvement points per turn. I think it might be worth investing 36 of our exploration points on claiming that territory there for Kazan because it does have a resource on it. It's got some animals on it and we can then put a hunting camp down to get something lovely out of it. So I think rather than lose that to Japan, let's just spend 36 exploration points and get that done. That's three turns worth. That's probably quite a good idea. So grab that for us, please. That's very good. Okay, happy about that. Um, yep, let's go and do some more repairs. Uh, get that one sorted. And I think that's about it. How much is a hunting camp? A hunting camp is only six. We can get that in too. There we go. Boop. Hunting camp goes in. And Kazan now has some meat and some bone as well. Wonderful. You enjoy the meat and the bone, Kazan. Okay, we have another culture power to use. They do come around nice and quick, which is good. Quite a few people in the comments on the previous video did say that we should use local reforms a bit more. That boosts regional efficiency, all resources gathered in a region for five turns. And a region is kind of, you know, the area controlled by a city. So maybe, what if we did local reforms on Northampton? And that would just mean that all of the resources gathered in Northampton are going to be boosted. That might be quite a good thing. I think if we were a little bit sort of further back in terms of our research, we could use the Eureka. It would generate 118, but I think it would get wasted. I think we'd lose quite a lot of the points. I don't think the research carries on into the next thing that we choose. I think it you know, kind of draws a line at the end of it and goes, right, there you go, that's complete. And then we'd have to start again. So I don't think we'll use the Eureka right now. Maybe let's do it. See the local reforms, or I do quite like this. I quite like the idea of that. Just grab ourselves 10 innovation because the innovation stuff is quite good. I do like that. What do we get per turn? So we get 3.29 per turn. So that would be, what, three and a bit sort of turns of innovation. That's not that good, is it? That's not that good. Joe, you know let's do local reforms on Northampton. Let's do that. Okay, so research went up a bit and I think maybe our culture went up a bit. Yeah, okay, that's fine. And Northampton needs to build something. Got the lifting tower done now. Um, Maybe let's get a public library for another point of knowledge. Let's get that done. And plus one education, because Northampton now needs some education. Okay, right, yeah, Northampton is quite big. Um, Bristol doesn't need education at size 28. Northampton does at size 22. I don't fully understand. Each population in a region above 30 requires one education. It's got a population of 22 again. Are you feeling okay? <laughs> Well, the game's gone a bit, it's gone a bit strange, but that's fine. Oh, hang on. We've maxed out our government XP. Is it worth doing that thing to get us an organisation social fabric point? That's cheaper expansion. Yeah, do you know what? We don't use it for anything else. 
we're not going to do it for settle, you know, spawning settlers or violent revolutions or whatever. So maybe, yeah, let's do that. So, boop, got two now. That's quite good. And we have some additional specialists. Okay, that's very good. So, oh, there we go, look. So we can see now how the specialists work. So the improvement points are the little spade and the specialists are these sort of... Um, whatever they are, pointy, sort of pointy things with a star on. So a coffee house, which we yeah, have this about tea house wrong, um, requires 29 specialists. Oh my goodness me, that's quite a lot. That's quite a lot, isn't it? Um, right, what can we do with all of our other points? Oh, do you know what we can do? What we could do is we could come down here to Boston and get some fishing fleet set up around here because as we saw earlier, Boston is a little kind of fishing uh, sort of uh, town and if we can put lots of these around it it means that we will generate quite a bit of money per turn which is wonderful so I think we get one more in so put that there and then next time put one there and that means Boston will be as surrounded as it can be really still being attached to the mainland um, by fishing fleets so that should be generating yeah look at that 10 wealth and then plus eight wealth as well. Yeah, that's, that's looking good. That's generating a nice amount of cash, which is wonderful. Well done, Boston. Good job. Don't throw any tea into the sea, please. That would not go down well. Okay, we've researched public sphere, which is very good. Wonderful. Okay, one more. One more. So standing army would be okay. That is a little bit quicker to get done. Colony's not so bothered. Government does give us that central bank for a big pile of wealth and also plus one education, so that could be quite useful. And yeah, we do get the National Landmark building as well. I do quite like that. However, I kind of feel inclined to go for mercantilism because, yeah, we're quite boaty. Well, I say we're quite boaty. We haven't got that many boats, I suppose, but um, I'm not so bothered. A foundry, we don't have that much in the way of kind of you know, steel and ingots and things. And we got much of that. So, I mean, that does, that generates rifles for warfare XP, not so bothered. I'd rather take the production. I think maybe let's go for government because, I was going to say because it's nice and quick, it's the one that takes the longest, but you know what, that's fine. It's only 12 turns now, and I think in three turns we will spend our culture power on doing a Eureka to really give that a boost. However, I notice we can also now invest some exploration points into a scholarly thing over here. Right, hello there, chappy, with your great big telescopy thing. What shall we have? Right, so we could unlock a translator. What's that? So it converts three foreign manuscripts, which provide us a variety of things, into three books. Okay, but we don't have any foreign manuscripts. I'm not entirely sure how useful that's going to be. Paradigm shift. Increases knowledge generated by the Eureka culture power. Yes. We'll take that, please. Or unlocks the scholarly society. Provides five education and a book. Oh, that's really quite good. That's very good. Okay, we'll take this for now. Just so, again, we can try to catch up with, uh, with Greece. Because if our Eureka power can generate a lot of extra knowledge... That's got to be a good thing. Um, okay, we've got a couple of idle regions. I think Liverpool's completed our nation's first shopping centre, which is lovely. Um, let's get a museum for education and luxury. Yeah, we do need to go and sort out sanitation and various other bits and bobs. Okay, so we'll get a museum set up, please, over in Liverpool. And somewhere else needed a thing, didn't they? Okay, Bristol. Um, Bristol, you can upgrade whatever that is, the market manager, to a shopping centre. You go and do that, please. That seems like quite a good thing. Um, I'm just checking on here just to make sure we've not got any kind of spare things that we're not using. Oh, Kazan. Domestic export. Okay. What can we export from Kazan? The wine provides culture, luxury, production and wealth. So maybe... Could we? Where is struggling for luxury? Is anywhere struggling for luxury? Can we go and have a look? Bristol's absolutely fine. Northampton is looking absolutely tremendous. Liverpool is also fine. Okay, it does also offer production. So 90 for Liverpool. Kazan... Oh, do they lose it? I don't think they lose it, do they? I don't think they, they, they're using one source of the wine, I think. I don't think they use multiple sources of the same thing. I don't believe that's the case. Bristol. Okay, let's send some wine to Bristol. 
because we're nice like that. So fine wine, not even just ordinary wine, fine wine to Bristol, please. There you go, Bristol. You're very, very welcome. Enjoy the lovely wine that Kazan just sent you. Oh, hang on, I was checking the other ones. Is everywhere else all right? We've all got the right sort of things exporting or whatever. Um, yep, yeah, that's all fine as well. We're exporting fish to Liverpool. <laughs> we probably don't need to do that. What's that? Delicacies. Oh, that's 10 food. Who is struggling for food? Somebody was. Kazan's fine for food. Was it Liverpool? Liverpool's on 167 food. Northampton is looking particularly fantastic. Oh, okay, maybe... Maybe not then. Um, okay. Um, oh, hang on a minute. Where's Go back to Brazil. Where are your delicacies? What else does it do? Luxury, production and wealth. Oh, okay. I'm not so bothered about that then. We'll leave it like that for now. That's absolutely fine. We'll change that around if we have to. But uh, right. Okay, wonderful. So in two turns, we shall see just how effective the fancy new Eureka Boost thing is in getting this next bit of research sorted out. Okay, okay, here we go. Culture Power is ready to use. Let's go and check out the Eureka. So what's that going to give us? 118.4 knowledge. That does seem like quite a lot. So how much is the government thing we're researching right now? That is 354. We have done a little bit already. So I think that'll make quite a dent into the 10 turns left. So let's do that. Let's have a bit of a eureka moment from 10 turns down to four. That is not too bad at all. That's not six entire turns off. And I just did that mass in my head there. I impressed everybody. Right. Okay. I think with that, done, ooh, hang on. We've maxed out our arts XP. Do we get a point of this? What's that? Community. Okay. We haven't got anything in that yet. So unrest. Okay. Do you know what? Is it worth doing that? We don't need to do any of this other stuff, do we? I'm not so bothered about this. And it does, you know, it stacks up quite quick. We get 10, 10 arts XP per turn. It comes in nice and quick. Let's get a point of that, shall we? Wonderful. Okay, so unrest is just down by five. That's quite nice. That's quite good. I'm quite happy about that. Okay, right. That's quite a good thing. Um, and yes, we have a big pile of these now. So maybe we can upgrade this. That's the oven. We can upgrade that to a bakery then for 23 points. So we'll get that done. So get a little kind of bakery going on. Okay, that's quite good. I like that. Um, and then we have got quite a lot of points left over. So what do we want to go for now? What's going to be helpful? I mean, I think maybe... Ah, good. Kazan got those two spots there. Uh, we do need something to help Kazan sort out sanitation because that is holding Kazan back. So... Um, what was it called? A trash heap. There we go. So 35 of our points can go on eight sanitation, but it is, you know, a stinky old trash heap. But we'll put that, we'll put that there. So, okay. Ah, there we go. Look, so that's helped that out a little bit. That's quite good. Um, and then I suspect maybe Bristol needs a very similar thing. The only thing is there's nowhere really for it to go. It's got to go just here. Which seems like a bit of a waste of land, doesn't it? Look at that. It's a lovely bit of land over here. You get the views, the beautiful views you get from that over there. And we're going to stick a horrible trash heap on it. It doesn't seem right, does it? It doesn't seem good. But um, Bristol is lacking. Oh, no, that's not sanitation. It's lacking in faith. Okay, san no, sanitation's okay. Oh, no, I misread that completely. Oh, okay. So faith. Can we put like a faith building down? don't think we have anything that can contribute to faith in here. I don't think so, unless we get a religious scribe to convert paper into religious text, but we don't have any paper in Bristol, so that's not going to help at all. Um, okay, right, what do we get over here then? What do we get? Um, we could, we could, have we got, have we got shells uh, in Bristol? We're picking up shells, are we? Are we picking up shells? Hang on, we've got We've got these tiles here. We should potentially be picking up some shells. Uh, oh, no, but we're not. We haven't got the things on them. No. Okay, hang on then. So if we get ourselves a fishing fleet on those shells there, we're now gathering shells in Bristol. There they are. Three lots of them. So could we now get ourselves a shell dyer to then generate some shell dyes for a little bit of money? Yeah, let's do that. Boop. Wonderful. 
and they've got 22 points left. Can't do too much else with that. Um, housing. Is everybody all right for housing? Liverpool is struggling for many, many things, including sanitation. Okay, and and faith and education. Okay, right. We need to do some work over here then, I think, with Liverpool. I think Liverpool is struggling a bit. Have they got anything on that? Is there anything on that? We've not got a plantation on that. Why not? Where's the plantation? It's 27. Okay, we'll do that next time then. We'll get a nice plantation set up over there, set up with food and everything else. And then, yeah, we'll just we'll just kind of you know, stack up these points and just keep spending them on lovely, useful things. Here's something we haven't done. We could possibly spawn a prospector and tell them to go up to Liverpool and have a look for gold in them thar hills. That might be quite a fun thing too. Let's spawn a prospector. You can appear over here. Look, oh, they appear over there. Um, so how does this work then? What do they do? They have to go to a hill like that and then they can just have a look around. Oh, it creates gold. Okay, so not just prospecting. They're actually magicking gold into existence. Okay, we will have some gold. Thank you very much. Can we get a mine on that? Yes. Okay, let's do that. Look, pop a mine in over there. Does that mean now that Liverpool has access to gold? Yes, a lovely big chunk of gold that we could then turn into jewellery. Okay, we've got three foreign imports. Three foreign imports. Okay, can we get stuff in that helps with, I don't know, education and sanitation and stuff? We could import some fertilizer that helps with sanitation and production. Yeah, let's do that. We shall have a bit of that, please. So grab some of that. Okay, that's helped a little bit. And then what's going to be useful next? So our third domestic, kind of, no, not domestic, foreign import, sorry. What shall we get? Apparently we can import some analytics. I'm not entirely sure what that means. I don't know what we get for that. What exactly is the thing that we're importing? That looks like magnifying glasses, but okay, right. So if we do import whatever analytics might be, it gives us two knowledge and that might be worth doing. So yeah, okay, we shall have a bit of that as well. I quite like that. That's quite good. Three foreign import slots. Has nobody else got that yet? Has nobody else got that? Northampton surely must have that. Northampton not got that? Um, I don't think it has. No, it's only got the one. Oh, okay. Well, we better make Northampton catch up then, hadn't we? You need to get that sorted, please, Northampton. You've got a treasury on the go right now for some money. But yeah, if we could import some different things, that might be quite helpful. Right, there we go. Government research is complete, which is wonderful. And I think that means now we can spend 13 turns on moving into the age of revolution. So that is a little while. Again, I think in four turns, we use our Eureka thing to maybe just push us a little bit closer to try to catch up with Greece. We also appear to have maxed out our diplomacy XP. Is it worth getting a point of tolerance? What does tolerance give us again? That's wealth. That's money per turn. And we do pick this up pretty quickly. Um, I'm not so bothered about merchants. Well, they give us money per turn as well, but that can also give us cash per turn. Um, an envoy might be quite useful, possibly, but I'm not really overly bothered right now. Uh, my only concern is if we do use that, if we go, hooray, 300 points on that, the next turn, a load of revolutionaries are going to appear, aren't they? And then go, hey, we're going to attack you. And we can't bribe one of them into oblivion. I just think that we are. Yeah, that's going to happen, isn't it? That's going to be a thing that happens. Do you know what? Let's do it anyway, shall we? Let us pick up a point of tolerance. OK, right. That's quite good. Um, engineering, warfare. These things are all ticking up. Can we do anything with the towns? Can we can we spend this on towns? Do we need to upgrade our towns anymore? I mean, does it does it make any difference if it goes to level three? Got no idea. Does it give us more money or something? I don't know. I think it might get... Does it get some more militia so it can defend itself a little bit? Because, um, yeah, we have got quite a lot of engineering XP. So is it worth just upgrading these a little bit? Arlington can be specialised. Let's make that a coastal town. That makes perfect sense. Surrounded by lots of water. Um, other towns. Let's expand... Springfield. Don't know. Does that make any difference? And then we'll expand Lawrence over here as well. So, boop. There we go. Just spending some of our points, we might as well. Oh, volunteers. 
Let's get volunteers in Northampton, although they are not there, but that's okay. And yeah, we do need, in fact, put them over there, look. Combine them with them. And yeah, we do need to get another kind of fighting force in, don't we? Uh, Kazan, how are you at training troops? We can't train the decent troops. <laughs> we haven't got a barracks. Yeah, we saw that earlier, didn't we? Okay. Um, how about, Kazan, you just keep working through these things. So you get... Maybe get a waterworks, because that'll sort out your sanitation for a good long time. And then maybe get, I don't know, get that sort of lifting tower thing sorted to get some more of these. Uh, and then, yeah, 63 of these points. So what else is going to help? So Northampton is sort of looking okay. Education is looking a little bit dodgy in Northampton. So could we maybe get a public school? Three education, work five education. Okay, so if we put a little public school down for Northampton, uh, let's put it right next to it, shall we? Just there, look. So, boop, in goes a school. That sorted out Northampton's education need. Um, oh, Liverpool. There are many bad things going on in Liverpool. Okay, right. Sanitation is probably quite an important one. Um, I don't think... We've got enough points to get anything in right now. We could, we could get a, it says coffee house, that's about tea wrong, a tea house in, converts one tea or coffee to one analytics for two knowledge. Um, we're okay for now, I think. I think we're okay for the minute. That should be fine. Uh, we have got some room down here for Liverpool, look. There is some room down here, which is quite good. Right, end our turn. Oh, hang on. Got. Some more borders appearing. Is that because we've just expanded towns and things? Are they pushing back borders? Oh, that's quite good if they are. That's very, very exciting. Oh, hang on a minute. There's some fighting going on. Our boats are just kind of merrily going around uncovering the world, by the way. They've just yeah, been quietly just doing that as we've been, you know, time's been ticking by. They're doing a pretty good job. They're doing a very good job. Uh, you can head over in that direction. Have a look over here. Oh, would you look at that? Ice at the top as well as the, at the bottom. Right, Bristol. What could you make? Is it maybe worth making some more samurai? How good are the musket men? Attack 28, samurai attack 26. Or do we get some fancy buildings on the go? Public library. That's more knowledge. Let's get more knowledge. And Liverpool. You need all sorts of bits and bobs. But yeah, your sanitation is indeed lacking. So let us get you a trash heap. I don't think they have one. I don't think they've got one already. So let's put that just there, look. Pop the trash heap in. So Liverpool looking pretty good in terms of sanitation. But yeah, lacking in faith and also education. I find your lack of faith disturbing, Liverpool. Can we please sort it out? Um, we haven't got any points down here to do much with it. But uh, yeah, we'll save some up. And then maybe down here we get another public school set up in one of these spaces. And then also we could do with getting a plantation in on that just there as well because it's currently, you know, sort of, it's a resource that we're not making use of. Right, here we go. Northampton's completed its shopping centre, which means it can now import some more stuff. It looks to me like Northampton might be a little bit low on flour and also logs. So could we possibly import some flour to help sort that kind of deficit out? That might be quite useful. And then, oh, okay, we're still down, are we? Do we need to import flour again? I would say it's probably more important to get the food sorted. Okay, so... That's looking pretty good. And then, if we import one lot of logs, rather than importing those cultural goods, it'll it'll take one culture per turn away. But I think we can cope with that. So let's sort that out for Northampton. Okay, so Northampton is now no longer lacking any kind of resources. And Bristol now also has the same kind of thing. So what do we import over here into Bristol? What's currently lacking in Bristol? Faith. Can we have anything that provides faith of any kind whatsoever. I don't think we can. I don't think there is anything. Oh God, like, oh, I was gonna say that's spices, that's coffee. We're not getting coffee in. We're not going down that road. Um, okay, let me take a look at what there is. I mean, again, analytics for some knowledge is okay. I don't so much mind that. Oh, uh, maybe books, possibly get some books in. Yeah, let's do that, please. Grab some books from somewhere abroad. So that's quite good for Bristol. Uh, yeah, Faith isn't looking great either, is it? Uh, oh, what was the thing that helped with sanitation? There was something we imported. Fertiliser, that was it. Production and sanitation. Okay, so do that. 
that added all of 5% to the sanitation, but that's better than no percent. Um, yeah, okay, right. That's quite wonderful. We're importing many things into Cabordia. Okay, culture power time again. Let's go for another Eureka. That will now generate 94.72 knowledge. And we need 427.7 to get into the next era. But we are a little way through. So nine turns comes down to five turns. Again, that's not too bad. That's not too bad at all. That saved many, many years of research there. Well done on whoever had the Eureka moment. Oh, look at that. On the very eastern edge of Liverpool's territory, we do have a couple of tiles here, which are not claimed by anybody, but they do have some very good resources on. That one's got grapes on it, and that one has tobacco on it. I think it might be worth spending a big chunk of our exploration points on grabbing both of those, because if we don't, it might go into Japanese hands, and we don't want that, because we don't like the Japanese. They were quite mean to us a long time ago, and we still haven't forgiven them, so how about we grab both of these? We will have that, thank you, and we will have that. That severely depleted our exploration points, so we can't go in here and get more things from our sort of scholarly sort of work, but that's okay. I think it's quite important that we have them under our control now, which is very handy indeed. Uh, we have put a little plantation down on there, which is good. Liverpool is lacking faith. We'll try and sort that out with some buildings or whatever. What can we get down here then? What can we get? Liverpool also struggling for housing. Also struggling for housing. Um, can we put, say, a house onto hills? No, we cannot. Bother. Okay, all I'm thinking is, if we put down a house here, that does leave only one tile left to move into to you know, build a thing to help us, you know, like a winery or whatever. So maybe we don't do that right now. I'm not entirely sure, but it does need some housing, does Liverpool. Maybe we could grab ourselves... Uh, yeah, what would go on that? A plantation. So a cash crop plantation. Pop that down and another one. Pop it down onto there. Okay, Liverpool is quite big now. Liverpool has got a huge bit of land going in that direction. Look at that. That's that's huge. You've got you cover you cover a lot of territory, Liverpool. It's very impressive. And uh, yeah, you've now got grapes. You've got grapes. So maybe next time we could build ourselves a winery or something to then turn those grapes into wine and that'll make the people of Liverpool all jolly and possibly a little bit drunk and they might fall over a bit. Oh, and finally, the people of Cabordia move into the Age of Revolution and I imagine Greece are going to move into the next age in about three turns time or whatever, but there we go. So what do we have down here? So we now need power. Power is going to be a new need for our people and then we can build air forces. Okay, we might not be quite at that point, and what does that do? If unrest grows too rapidly within your regions, revolutionaries will rise. Okay, right. Let's enter that age. Uh, oh, okay. Air units. Air units can be unlocked through research in this age. Okay, right. That's fine. And they can attack people from far away. Right, okay. We'll muddle through when we get to that point. Here we go. The power. Power is probably going to be something that we're going to need to look at quite soon. So, uh, okay. The power need is determined entirely by what you build. Most buildings from this age forward require some form of power. Okay, I see. So if we don't build anything that requires power, we don't need to generate any. But if we do, and we're probably going to need to, then yes, we're going to have to actually build other things that generate power. Yeah, okay, right, I get that. And it unlocks other bits and bobs. So petroleum, rare earth metals, different kind of units and other bits and bobs. Right, okay. Have we got any new things? Have we got any new stuff in our land? I don't overly recognise. Have we picked up anything new? I don't think we have. We've got nothing new at all. <laughs> no petroleum or anything like that around there. Now, oh, botherations. Okay, never mind then. Fine, be like that. Um, we are going to spend 300 government XP on getting another organisation point, which is expansion cost down a bit more, which is quite good. So, yeah, we shall do that. Thank you. Um, and, yes. We now are going to move the boats around. Yeah, continue move. I told the boats to come home because I think the boats have explored everything they need to explore. I think they've covered everything, which is pretty good. All right, here we go. Look, choose a new technology. And also, we can see what's coming next. The Age of Generals. Okay, that seems somewhat fighty. Oh, it's got tanks and soldiers and things. The Age of Dystopia. 
That sounds quite intriguing, doesn't it? That's a bad one. The Age of Utopia. Innovation events this age, Naught Out of Three. And the Age of Rocketry is a standard one where it looks like we go up to the moon. I mean, at the minute, I don't feel like we're quite ready to go to the moon, but okay. And then we've got communication, rail, urbanisation, aeronautics, supply and science, industry, steel, militarisation. These things are all amazing. However, to help us boost our military a little bit, how do we get a barracks? Whereabouts is a barracks? Is that all the way back here under professional? Yes, it is. <laughs> Let's just nip back and grab that, shall we? So we can train up some half-decent troops. We'll have a bit of that, please. Um... And I suppose we could get isolation and then that'll give us a nice sort of a free social fabric point. Because I think that's how it works. I think you get like a wildcard one if you complete every bit of research in a particular age. So that's only three turns. Okay, I was going to wrap things up, but let's get that done, shall we? Let's just kind of wrap that bit up. Let's get those two bits of research finished and then we'll finish things up for today. Okay, we have another innovation, armor-piercing rounds. That sounds quite handy. The main thing that makes armor vehicles powerful is their innate defenses against traditional gunpowder weapons. We can circumvent this defense by manufacturing specialized munitions to cut right through steel. Do we even know what a kind of a powered vehicle is? I don't think we're quite at that point in Cabordia. So what does that give us? Times to attack versus armored units an early machine gun. We can get a machine gun. Okay, right. Does that mean we can just train one up? Um, okay, let's just nip to Bristol. So a machine gun is... I can't see where one might be. Okay, there it is. Right, okay, so we can't build it. Unlocked by militarization. Okay, right, so we can't actually get that done. That's a bit of a shame. I was going to say, now I have a machine gun. Ho, ho, ho. But no, that doesn't kind of work anymore, does it? Because we don't have machine guns. Okay, we have another culture power. Let's see what we can do. I don't think we need to use the Eureka because we're researching things from a long time ago that are nice and easy. Um, local reforms, maybe? Again, just do that on Northampton just to give it a bit of a boost. So, uh, yeah, 34, 37.6 culture. That does boost that up quite a bit. That is not too shabby at all. And then engineering-wise, can we expand any more towns? Um, let's expand Flagstaff, because we can, and we can do one more. Um, let's expand maybe one down here. Look, in fact, what about that one? What about Albany? Expand Albany as well. There you go, Kazan. You've got a fancy expanded town. And choose technology. Professional army is done. Brilliant. Right, do isolation in a couple of turns. Let's get that done as well, shall we? Just, you know, wrap up some old stuff. Okay, Bristol's finished work on the public library. Well done, Bristol. I notice over here we do have a power grid now. That's quite exciting. Six power comes from that. Okie doke. However, I think right now, let's upgrade the encampment to a barracks because then we might be able to build some half-decent troops. I mean, we're not talking about, you know, machine guns and things yet. Talking about, you know, people with you know, still, you know, muskets and things. But that's fine. But yeah, we'll get that done, please. Okay, we have another social fabric wildcard point to spend because we completed all the research in the Age of Plague. And again, I think it goes into insight. Let's get our research completed a bit quicker, please. 7% quicker now. You know, not massive, but better than no percent quicker. So yeah, we will accept that. And now we get to pick a technology. Okay, so isolation is done. Not so bothered, really, but it was just to get the point thing out of it. Um, I mean, what do we go for now? Do we go for this stuff down here, like finance, two domestic export slots, 12 production, 12 production from warehouses. I think they're an upgrade on the storehouses because the storehouses do provide quite a lot of stuff as well. Um, yeah, OK, what do we do then? What do we do? I'm not so bothered about those. What does machinery give us? Oh, crikey, there are many things. Deep mines, clay mines... We get brickworks. Oh, there's loads of things. Clear cut. We get a sawmill. Oh, that might be quite good. That might be quite good. Gunpowder is also quite tempting. Gunpowder is also quite a handy thing because you know, then we can make things that go boom and that's quite fun. Let's go for machinery first, shall we? And then we'll work our way up to the age of revolution things. We're not quite ready for this yet. We're not ready for that. Although we haven't had a little notification over here saying, hey, Greece are moving into the next age in you know, two minutes time. You better get on with it. We've not had that yet. So that's quite good. So maybe we've caught up the tiniest, tiniest bit. Right, Liverpool. What are we doing here in Liverpool? 
the walls, what's that? The stone walls become barricades. Okay, not so sure we need that. The stone towers become turrets. Again, not so bothered. Oh yeah, barracks. Let's just get that done, shall we? Everywhere can get a barracks. That might be quite a useful thing. Um, yep, you can get that as well, Northampton. Thank you. And I think with that done, we will wrap things up for now. I'm quite happy that we're now in the proper age. We're actually in the age of revolution, which is what it says in the corner. How long that'll stand for, I don't know. I'm not entirely sure. that you know, Greece might move into a new age in not very long at all. But at least we're now here. And we seem to have a decent amount of research going on. 38.4 is vastly improved over what we did have. So yeah, I'm quite happy about that. But I think, yeah, we'll get that machine research done. And then I'm not so bothered about the other stuff. So then possibly we can come over here and start grabbing some tech over in the Age of Revolution. That could be quite good. There's quite a lot of good stuff. Quite a lot of exciting things. Grocery stores and sewers for 30 sanitation. Oh, that could revolutionise everything. So, yeah, there's loads of things. There are loads of things that we do want to get our hands on here. So, uh, yeah, we'll complete that one little bit over there just so we can get some, like, decent sawmills or whatever it was. And then, yes, we'll do some other research. Hopefully we can get different kind of building upgrades. We do need to look at our faith a bit. We are struggling for faith ever so slightly in Liverpool. I think Northampton is okay for faith. Bristol also not looking great. Kazan possibly struggling a bit. So we have got a little bit of work to do on making sure that people are drinking their tea and enjoying their tea and making sure they you know, go and pray at the tears and, I don't know, fountains or whatever we have. And um, we also do have a giant pile of improvement points as well. A mansion. A mansion, you say? 25 housing, but it is one power drain. Okay, if we start getting in power grids, maybe we could sort our housing issues out by building a few mansions afterwards. That could be quite handy. So there we go, plenty to do when we come back. But yeah, we'll wrap things up for now. Hopefully you are still enjoying this. If you are, please do leave a like. That would be most marvellous indeed. And also, if you're not already, then please do subscribe to keep up to date with how we get on here next time out in millennia. But for now, thank you very much for joining me in the Geek Cupboard, and I'll see you next time. Move out of the way, friend. I'm going to completely ignore you and do some comment moderating. <laughs> Kung Fu Croquet. Maria, you've broken my heart. There you go, some more flowers that I stored on the back of my pants. Lovely, there we go. As you can see, I'm having the wildest of times. Enormous banana mask. <laughs>